music and dance that is deeply embedded in the culture of Cuba. It is said that it started in the mid-1800s among free black Africans of different backgrounds whose forebears had been brought to the island through the transatlantic slave trade. These origins included a number of tribes or nations. The Spanish plantation owners encouraged divisions among the Africans, hoping they wouldn't unite to revolt as they had in the neighboring island of Haiti. This meant that many of the enslaved people working in the tobacco and sugarcane fields and mills were able to maintain and perpetuate many of the spiritual practices of their former homelands. The integrity of those practices was maintained, but by the mid-1800s, the drumming by the free blacks were blending with the melodies of the Spanish island's poor whites as an expression of their discontent with a government and society that exploited and oppressed them. This grievance, or protest, eventually asserted itself as a secular or folk practice known as rumba. The word itself is Spanish, meaning a festive event, and it sounds like Bantu and other African words, tambo, tumba, and macumba, which have similar meaning. Among the African nations that would exert the most influence on rumba, or are most identifiable in the movements of dance and music, were this Yoruba, Congo, Angola, Arara, and Karibali. Slavery ended in 1886, but the freed Africans continued to work on the sugar plant plantations, Cuba's primary crop, and on the docks of ports, especially Havana. The working conditions were not much different than the slave era, and prejudice would keep the Africans in the lower classes. Rumba is a process of spontaneity and improvisation that nevertheless has an agreed-upon structure. It involves drumming, singing, dancing, and storytelling. The first sound you'll hear is the clave, which is the compass, so everybody knows where they are in the course of a song. The voice is actually the lead, and all of the other instruments of rumba support her. The primal tonality is the drum, the quinto, segundo, and tumbao. The palitos are an embellished version of the clave and add swing to the music. During slavery, the drum was forbidden. The cajon and caja were invented to replace the drums. The shekere, or rattle, provides a foundational bottom on the one and three of the rhythmic pulse. Rumba is a cultural phenomenon that was common in two major cities in Cuba, Havana and Matanzas gaining popularity in the United States in the 1940s when Carlos Vidal Bolado and Chano Pozo came to New York to record. The internationally known rumba groups Los Muñequitos of Matanzas and Los Pepines were founded in the early 1950s. <laughs> Yambu, elegant and graceful. Juan Juan Co has a faster pace. This dance of courtship mimics the barnyard movements of the cock courting the hen, which she plays hard to get. Pero nosotros no necesitamos esa lindura ni eso para hacer música con cuatro hierro y cuatro palos. Formamos una rumba que no cree en nadie. Thank <laughs> you. 
another style of rumba. It's called Congo de Santiago with Chinese horns and it's in contrast to the comparsa style of Havana. Tenemos hasta la corneta china, que eso ya figure su usted. puede decir que no se ha podido comprobar la existencia de una sola organización artística. Singing is Carlos Zambale. He is considered a national treasure and he is of Chinese and African descent. esclavos que vinieron del Congo, los que introdujeron las manifestaciones danzarias que se pueden considerar como antecedentes de la rumba. Entre estas manifestaciones está la que se conoce con el nombre de la yuca, baile interpretado en pareja. El baile de la yuca es el antecedente africano del yambú. El yambú es la rumba más antigua que se conoce. This is yuca, the mating dance that parallels yambú. Juan Co by Los Muñequitos.
And this is Rumba Colombia, which is primarily done by men.
como supo con Yangue, pues ya, hay que decirle... So rumba is not just music. It is the living expression of African values. Those of values are, one, unity. Everybody participates. Rumba brings together music and dance derived from several African religions. Yoruba, Congo, Abakwa most significantly. There's a range in age from the womb to the grave and there's respect for elders at all times, and the young are taught by example. There is a range in age and race and class. Rumba models the roles of the sexes. Rumba also upholds physical intelligence. In Rumba, there is support for the accomplished skill of the expert and their support for the newcomer. Mental acuity and improvisation are important in rumba. Participants are expected to spontaneously contribute a verse to a song that rhymes, uses puns, humor, and proverbs. Discipline. Musicians must maintain a tempo. Strength and stamina. Rumba sessions can go on for hours and everybody has to hang in there. Cooperation and community. The emphasis is on all, all participating rather than one being the star. So rumba is not just music, it is resistance. It counters the dehumanizing conditions of slavery and racism. Through rumba, the oppressed male gets to engage in his role as protector of the female. The female gets to feel her femininity for herself and for her chosen consort, and gets to feel protected. Rumba is not just music. It is history. The long history from the continent of Africa and the short history and the stories that are the musical street plays of common life. Rumba is not just music. It is a contemporary active demonstration of the terms of African musical aesthetic acknowledging its sophistication. Rumba is not just music. It teaches respect for elders, for women, for men and children. It teaches order and skill. It gives heart and accomplishment, resilience and satisfaction. Rumba is not just music. Thank <laughs> you.